we want to test the series for convergence using the root test. So to apply the root test, given the summation of a sub n, we take the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n, which will equal L, and based upon the value of the limit, this will tell us whether the series converges, whether the series diverges, or whether the test fails to provide any information. So the root test is an appropriate test for this infinite series because notice how the formula to generate the terms of our series is raised to the nth power. So we'll take the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of 2n cubed divided by the quantity 5n minus one, and this is raised to the nth power. So notice how the radicand is a perfect nth root, and we know it's positive, so when we take the nth root of this raised to the nth power, it simplifies perfectly to just one factor of 2n cubed divided by the quantity 5n minus one. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of, again, 2n cubed divided by the quantity 5n minus one. And again, the reason this simplified so perfectly is if we know x is positive, if we take the nth root of x to the nth, this simplifies perfectly to just one factor of x because x to the nth is a perfect nth root. But taking the nth root is equivalent to raising something to the one over n power as we see here. When we have powers, the powers we multiply. So in this form, it also simplifies to x to the first or one factor of x. And now to find the limit as n approaches infinity, notice how the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. The numerator is degree three, the denominator is degree one, and when this is the case, the limit is going to approach positive infinity. Notice how as n increases or approaches infinity, because we have n to the third in the numerator, the numerator is increasing faster, and therefore this limit is equal to infinity, which we know does not exist. But because this limit does equal infinity, we know the given series diverges. So we'll say by the root test, since the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n equals infinity, the series diverges. I hope you found this helpful.